In October 2011, dozens of researchers descended on a small island in the Maldives in the Indian Ocean. They stayed for more than four months, collecting data on a recurring moving weather pattern, which has widespread effects on weather and storms across many parts of the Earth. This atmospheric wave is called the Madden-Julian Oscillation. It's about the size of Alaska, begins in the Indian Ocean, and starts migrating at about five meters per second, moving out into the Western Pacific Ocean. And so one of the basic questions is why is it occurring here, let alone why does it occur? Uh, it's all part of the all part of the phenomenon. But the, the thing is, this it not only influences the rainfall and cloudiness uh, in and of itself where it is, but it influences things like the India has a big influence on the Indian and Australian monsoons, the, the cyclogenesis, the generation of cyclones, we call them hurricanes over here in that area of the world. And it even has uh, influences on the weather here in the continental United States when it occurs. The field campaign was funded by the Department of Energy's Atmospheric Radiation Measurement Climate Research Facility. It's called the ARM Madden Julian Oscillation Investigation Experiment, or AMI. Through the campaign, researchers from many organizations, including Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, collected a vast amount of atmospheric and oceanic data and other factors using unique instrumentation, including 3D cloud and precipitation radars and rotating shadow band radiometers. While that data will take years to evaluate, there is one interesting aspect that has appeared already. One of the things that we hadn't even thought of was the, uh, the relationship or maybe the significance of what we call cold pools um, to, to this whole thing. And if you look, uh, a cold pool um, is just a, a largish area of air down near the surface that's cooler than is typical around the region and say the variability of convection found there in these cold pools and how they might tie into the MJO story seems to be something that we, we, will, we will need to look into here. Amy took place with two other large international research efforts. The data collected during the field campaign is translated into what are called research products and shared with the science community worldwide in hopes of answering some basic questions. Why does it occur in the Indian Ocean and nowhere else? What determines that one time it will occur, go, and then 30 days later it will occur and go, but sometimes it's uh, 40 or 50 or 60 days later before it occurs again? What determines when it fires up in the Indian Ocean? Existing climate models are not effectively capturing the MJO and its impacts. The data collected in the AMI campaign will be used to evaluate those models and improve both weather forecasting and global climate projections. If we could predict the MJO, if we could predict how severe the Indian or Australian monsoons, we might be able to save lots of lives. We can only do that by understanding a better understanding this system and being able to model it. In addition to developing and testing climate models, PNNL scientists have contributed to the study of climate change over the years by developing improved instrumentation for studying clouds and other climate factors and carrying out numerous field investigations. Together, the resulting knowledge is helping to improve climate projections worldwide.